Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. This is a sign I saw at the supermarket. Can you spot the mistake? Yes. Thank you should be two words. Should thank you always be two words? Well, in this case, yes, because you're using thank you as an exclamation to express your gratitude. But according to some people, like OxfordDictionaries.com, thank you can be a hyphenated word if it's being used as a modifier. For example, I wrote her a thank you note, but in this sign it should be two words. By the way, do you know what kind of patch they're talking about? Patch has several meanings, but in this case it means gang patch, which is usually a symbol on your clothing which shows which gang you're a member of. I don't want to show you an actual gang patch. You can look it up on Google Images if you want. But if the Daily English Show is a gang, our patch might look like this. Wikipedia says the term gang patch is used specifically in New Zealand. I don't know if that's true, and if it is, I don't know what they're called in other countries. And if you're wondering why a supermarket would have a sign like this, Wikipedia also says... New Zealand has more gangs per head than any other country in the world. So, yay us. Today I'd like to tell you about a site called Tapastic. Tapastic is a place where you can find lots of awesome web comics. For example, my favourite comic that I've come across so far is Sarah's Scribbles. Not me, another Sarah. This is one of her comics. The title is procrastination. Procrastination is when you delay doing something that you should do, usually because you don't want to do it. And people procrastinate in many different ways. For example, you might open up your favorite website like Reddit, read a couple of comments, read a couple more. And the situation in this comic is one of the ways that I procrastinate. Let's read it. Phew. I did the dishes, scrubbed the floors, dusted, did the laundry, plus I organized all the... How's the paper? A paper is a piece of written work done by a student. It's American English. In New Zealand we call the stuff we have to do for school or university essays or assignments, not papers. The girl on the comic is avoiding working on her paper, so she procrastinates by cleaning. What's your favourite way to procrastinate? Kia ora, in Stick News today, a model on a TV show gave away a car by mistake. The Price is Right is a TV game show which began in 1956. On the show, contestants win prizes by correctly guessing the price of things. Recently, on the US version of the show, a contestant was guessing the price of a car when the model accidentally revealed the correct price, forcing the host to give the car to the contestant. After she realised her mistake, the model hid behind the price tags. She later revealed on Twitter that she hadn't been fired. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 15th of April. Kia ora. Today's word is figure out. This comes from another one of Sarah's comics. The character says, I just figured out why my room is always so messy. To figure out is a phrasal verb which means to think about something until you understand it. For example, if your friend lends you something, like a drill, and says, do you know how to use it? You can say, nah, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. <coughs> What's your favorite way to procrastinate? Naps or Netflix? I just finished House of Cards Season 3. Have you seen any of it? Okay, I won't say anything.
probably read it. Or cleaning. I often do that when I procrastinate. How about you? How do you usually procrastinate? What have you been watching on Netflix? Ah, uh, don't tell me anything. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I've seen all of seasons one and two, but I haven't started season three yet. What kind of patch is banned at the supermarket? A. A shield worn over an injured eye. B. Identifying insignia of a street gang. Identifying insignia of a street gang. Why is Sarah cleaning in the comic? A. She's procrastinating. B. Her relatives are coming to visit. She's procrastinating. When did The Price is Right first air on TV? A. 1956 B. 1996 1956 Why did the model give away the car? A. She wanted to be like Oprah B. It was an accident It was an accident If Sam figured out how to use the software A. Sam now understands how to use it. B. Sam gave up. Sam now understands how to use it. And that was The Daily English Show. You can check out the transcript for today's show at thedailyenglishshow.com slash 1409. In the transcript we have links to everything I've talked about on today's show and also to the music we've used. So if you like the music that's playing right now, you can go to the transcript page, follow the link, and download the music for free. See you tomorrow. Bye.